Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to see creating a new company in QuickBooks so if you want to join this full course or get the QuickBooks services you can contact on this number all right let's get started okay I hope that you have downloaded this assignment already. So first of all, we will make create this company in QuickBooks. Just simply double click on the icon. And QuickBooks by default takes some time to load. So nothing to worry about. Okay, right now we are using QuickBooks Enterprise Accountant Edition 2016. I will also give the link of the latest version that is 2018 that I have. So you can uh, download whatever you want to. You can install either QuickBooks 2018 or 16. Doesn't matter. The new version only has some different reports, some advanced level reports and some dashboard kind of thing. Otherwise, the procedure is almost the same for all the uh, versions. Until unless we have a very old version. So I've already, uh, I was already working on a company. So I will go in file and close this company. And we'll start off all over again. So when you will, uh, let me hide this. When you will first start your uh, software you will see this screen no company open you're not working on any company before so uh, it will be a new start for you and right here you will see create a new company open or restore a company or sample company file if you want to play around uh, with any already created company so QuickBooks has provided some sample companies for you so you might see that whether or not QuickBooks is a feasible um, software for you to work on. This is uh, this is particularly for the companies who want to implement uh, the the software, but they are not sure that whether or not their reporting requirements meets uh, can be met with this software or not. Anyways, we will start a new company, create a new company. Now you will see two options. You can use two options: Express Start or Detail Start. Detail start is fine, but it asks so many questions in the starting. We don't know that much information in the starting. So we will just do an express start. That is the easiest way to start a new company. Here we only have to define these three requirements that is compulsory that has steric signs. Business name is we already know that is Zen Traders. Industry that we are trading in. Now, QuickBooks has a special feature which uh, helps you to define accounts automatically. Accounts means ledger accounts. If you don't know how many ledgers or, or you must create, you can simply define your industry. Uh, like if we are selling uh, automotive sales or repair. So we don't know what accounts we should use and what to name that accounts. So we will uh, just simply click on this and it will automatically create this accounts. So what you can do afterwards is whichever account you don't, uh, you are not using, you can just delete or change the name of it. But we will start from none. We will not define any industry so that no chart of account will be created. It's better for us to understand it from the scratch. If we are able to make all the ledgers by ourselves, then defining an industry and getting ledgers automatically is not an issue for us. So third requirement is business type. What, in, uh, what kind of business do we have? Are we a sole proprietor, partnership, single member, LLC? This company is sole proprietorship. Okay, let me tell you something. This is a US based software. So it doesn't matter whatever you define in this if you are not uh, working in US. 
because it has some special features it has some special reports associated with this um, uh, separate reports otherwise all the working will be same whatever you choose so sole proprietorship is fine now uh, you might have noticed that when we completed this three requirements automatically we will uh, create company option will be enabled automatically so we can put all the other informations later on just move on to create the com company okay now it will ask you where you will store quickbooks live company files quickbooks active company files qba active companies files where will you where would you like to store it okay some people for uh, you know to make the data secured they do not prefer it to save it in documents or default location they rather save that in d drive or e drive right now i only have c drive but it is recommended if you uh, store in d or c uh, d or e that is even better so what i will do is i will define quickbooks live files and let me define it as zentridis trading training okay we will save it it will start creating a new company it might take some time so just relax there you are your new company file is created and uh, do the same as I did and we will uh, then move to the next video Thank you. So that's it. I hope you liked the video and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.